All right, everyone, we made it to Ghent. This was about a half hour train journey from Brussels to the Northwest. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you, the one thing that sticks out of my mind when I think Ghent is the Treaty of Ghent that was signed in 1815 that formally ended the War of 1812 between the US and Great Britain. Other than, I don't know where exactly in Ghent it was signed, probably one of these buildings behind me. Um, because I remember when I was in Berlin in 2018, I was asking uh, the uh, fellow students, the fellow people in my study abroad group, where exactly was the Berlin Conference decided, you know, that divided Africa into like, what was it, eight separate colonial powers? Well, there you go. Now, the one thing that made me a bit nervous about coming here was that on the map I saw, oh man, it's like miles, you know, this special area is like miles north of uh, St. Peter's train station, because obviously that's how I get to all these places by train. And um, I gotta say, it wasn't as long as a walk as I thought it would be, not nearly as long. I thought I'd be walking for like maybe close to a half hour or something like that, about the same time as the train journey. but. No, it actually wasn't that bad. There, there's a bit of obstacles as per usual, like construction related, but no, we got here just fine. And there you see the uh, historical flag of Flanders waving high and proud. In case you haven't noticed, I really like flags. It was the second largest city those days, to the north of the Alps, after Paris. A gauche, la vieille poissonnerie dix-septième siècle renovée avec l'argent privé, 10 millions d'euros, hein? Revenait d'une croisade. Alors, il avait beaucoup d'inspiration. Une petite et mauvaise copie du crack de chevalier à Syrie. Maintenant, là, de... Well, the heavens have opened up, as you can see. I've been largely lucky with this weather until now. And just like that, the sun is back out again. So whether it's the rain or that boat tour I was just on, I did uh, two segments on it, two little clips. It's all part of the European experience. <laughs> oh, those fries were banging. Nine euros. I don't know if that's a tourist trap price, but I don't give a you know what it, it was it was good stuff also if you're like me and you don't like sticking a euro in to use the bathroom look no further if you're ever in Ghent and you want to take a leak for free that's where you go you're welcome love locks on the bridge i've seen a couple of honest guide videos to know that not everyone is on board with this kind of thing and they kind of lance them off Yeah, there's bridges you see in other cities where there's like tons of them on there. Well, shucks. I wonder what else I can show you guys. I think you've basically seen it all. I know I've been saying this since the last video, but apologies for the lack of commentary. I think these pictures really speak for themselves, you know, these views. I don't know. Maybe there's some cool shit, some, or cool stuff. 
don't swear, Jack, come on. Um, maybe there's some cool stuff around here, but I think we've just about seen everything. Yeah, can't really think of much else. All right, everyone, that was it for Gens. I figured I'd do a little something different for this video, um, ending it in the hotel room I'm staying at. Now, this is a hotel that, for whatever reason, it has like a two-star review on Google. And I don't know why, and neither will you. It's not a bad view. It's all my stuff there. Got a bed. Awesome mirror. I'm not wearing socks, as you can see. Check out the bathroom. I mean, if you look at this thing, you can tell it's seen better days. There's some uh, calcium lime stains on it and kind of down there too. But, you know, I'm not complaining. But yeah, this is the room. Ceiling is on the high side than what I'm used to. But yeah, maybe it's just my personal anecdote slash experience, but this room is definitely not worthy of two stars. It's higher rated than that. More like four, maybe even three and a half, just because the Wi-Fi can be better. But that's my only complaint about it. It's actually not a bad place. Anyway, I'll see you guys tomorrow in some other city up, up in here in uh, Belgium.